Not an abortion, and she wants alternatives. Um, is there somewhere that she could go, or should she come to Planned Parenthood? I didn't say this, but I was like, should she come to Planned Parenthood and look for men on the sidewalk? <laughs> Sir, I don't want. I don't want to have an abortion. Can you help me outside of a place where I can get an abortion? Can you help me? No, you don't want. You don't want me to know where to go other than here. So if you guys need assistance. Medical assistance, you can come. You can come to 4401 West 109th. Someone wants to. Um, in Overland Park, Kansas, and they will actually offer you whatever you need. And if you, if they don't want to have an abortion, is Planned Parenthood gonna force them? What? They don't kill babies? What they should or should not do? I thought this was an abortion mill. Oh, it's a healthcare facility. You have no interest in talking to me. Healthcare facility. Where is the fake clinic? Don't go there. Don't go there. This is actually where people mostly drive in and then they drive back around. Ooh, Trace talking to a woman. That doesn't happen often. He's making sure she doesn't think for herself. Ooh. You just told me you don't want to talk with me. I said I didn't want to have a dialogue. That's right. different than speaking with you. What's the difference? Yeah. That's how it goes. <laughs> you're walking away because you're liberal and you're unintelligent. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 and you're afraid to have a conversation because you're afraid to engage your ideas. So he's out here doing this bullshit. Why do you think I'm out here? Because you were told to by your church. Brian got Valley kicked off the board of Maine. Possibly, possibly. Wow. We can't confirm. Because he had in one video saying that he thought abortion was okay, but God didn't want to think that he was okay. I saw that and it was like, uh, oh my God, this thought Brian got pain. You are coming off really judgy. I'm just saying, you are coming off really super judgy today. I mean, it was good. You're not Jesus, so for one, you're, you're not actually. I'm saying you're normally not like this. So I'm saying it's terrible out here. Trey, I hope Even you're better at making horse dentures than you are at evangelism, pal. Man, children making excuses, babbling. Mind your own business. He doesn't even help your side. What? Trey doesn't even help the side, and you talk. What about him? He doesn't help you guys. I mean, Mind you. Your own He's fall. Uh, he's a faker, though. He, dude, he talks about adoption all the time, but again, has no knowledge of it. It's been proven. He's actually expressed he has no knowledge of what to do. That's all he does. If you're gonna have someone preaching about something, come to me. I'll adopt your baby. Well, you should know something about the process, even the very beginning. He doesn't, but. How does that help make you guys not look foolish? I don't necessarily think so. I think it's just another excuse logged our way. No, what, uh, that he doesn't know anything? He actually has proved that. I have that on video of him. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you can prove that with me, too. Like, I know, you don't who, preach I know who I'd go to for guidance, but, like, you don't I don't preach know like him. the process through. I just know that the next step forward. He doesn't know anything of the process, is what I'm saying. You don't preach it like that. You do speak of it, but you don't make that your selling point. That's his selling point. I will adopt this baby in eight weeks. Hmm. I mean, look at the sign, too. Yeah. I mean, God. If you could buy him a piece of cardboard, I mean, I would, that would be me participating in the actual protest. It's like far about him that. He doesn't even care. Dude, I mean, that's not even just a bad sign. That's like, that is beyond that. That is on my support, and that's who you have coming out with you that you supposedly think helps you. I'm not trying to help make you guys look better than the other, but cut the dead weight, man. He's not hes not even here for you. You talked about him getting a new car last year. What? Talked about? It, there's no talking about it. You go to Walmart, you spend like five bucks. I had to do a happy birthday thing for my niece, and I spent like five bucks. And I had to do a full brand new white cardboard and markers and all the stuff to make 
something better than that even. My name is Max. I'd love to help you if you need any help. Good morning, man. His name is Max, and he talks to women I will adopt your baby, but you're not looking to adopt me, buddy. You're not looking to adopt, but you're talking to me. No way, I know. No, thank you. Carrie has said many times on the video the multiple things she does, and she's here not to for reasons, but you can be multiple places. That was bullshit, man. I'm just saying, you can be here and there. I never tell you not to come here. I don't tell anybody not to come here. I told Cliff he would leave it if he didn't like me recording him here, but. But be here, do what you're doing. I love activists, I love activism. I hate fucking stupid signs that are like 25 years old showing that he doesn't care. Plus the fact that he just admitted that he actually doesn't want to adopt a baby. You don't want to adopt a baby, what do I have to talk to you about? Come over here, cause you know that you're, you're gonna get owned. Come over here. No! Did I tell you, did I tell you that is exactly what he likes to do when he gets caught. But you say that you will not, you don't want to adopt a baby, but I will adopt your baby. If, if, oh, if, 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 there's no way. If, 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 where's the if? Where's the if? Yes. Where's the if? I will swear to adopt the baby if it will save that child's life. That's God, I hope no one falls for that. You don't think that? <laughs> well, are you glad that somebody allowed you to I'm against no, ignorant people. I'm, uh, I wish I was fucking dead. <laughs> no, you didn't because you ate breakfast this morning. Ah! I did not eat breakfast. Did you eat morning. supper last night? I did not eat supper. Did you last eat night. lunch yesterday? We've had this conversation with another person. Yesterday. Okay, why did you eat lunch yesterday, Mr. Smarty Pants? It tastes good. <laughs> right, because you care about your life. You're a liar. That's you not what he you said, guys. Life, you really That's not what he said. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he, he's perfectly yourself. doing it. I'm not Ooh, there again. Just Sorry, I warned know. him already about it. Like, I'm told. <laughs> Wait, are, aren't you the one literally doing what you're fucking told? By reading the, the no, I'm, no, I use my mind. I own oh, my I'm ideas. You theologically. You do? Yeah. Okay, why are you here? Why am I here right here, right now? No, why are you alive? Why oh, and guys, alive? whoever asks what uh, I'm for or no against, um, you don't even want to be alive and yet you eat breakfast or eat lunch. It doesn't yet. matter uh, what I'm for or You're against. the one that thinks for himself, right? I'm against yeah, yeah. idiots. There, do a walkthrough. Ah, okay. Anything from my subscribers? Say hi to Michael. Hi, Michael. Yeah, Michael, say hi to Michael. Oh, hello. <laughs> I love the death stare. <laughs> and that is about it. Would you guys be willing to say who you're with? Holy Mary, Mother of God. Anybody want to say who you're with? If a woman needed help, where would she go? So, no assistance for a woman. So this is an unknown church, a group of people that want to stand out here anonymously. Name of church? No. Name of church? You don't want to save anybody. Hypocrites. Yes. Uh... Ooh, someone's looking froggy. Please. That would give me some great views. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Let's sing out and listen to the ritual. Great thing about activism, you can stand behind the group that's doing their ritual and watch. Again, teach your children to calm the fuck down so they don't get hurt. So they don't hurt somebody else. But that we will be victorious. 
dude. Let him work off. Get the hairs going. Uh, he's a dancer. Ballet dancer. Nice. One of the Catholic kids looks like he wants to fight. He's like getting all pumped up. He's, I've seen him like escalate and escalate. I mean, of course, I started saying a few things out loud, you know, like, hey, you guys are a bunch of hypocrites, you know, just because I asked for their names, Turks, you know, anything. Said, hey, if a woman needed help and wanted to come, where would it? No, no, let's keep doing our ritual. This is a waste of time. I cannot answer all these. These people are responsible. Was COVID God's will? Was COVID God's will? Yes. Yes. Ooh. I thought it was the Democrats and the. I thought it was like Biden and the Democrats and Obama and Hillary. Mm -hmm. How could it be otherwise? He's all seeing, all knowing, all powerful. So, so he makes good people then. So He's a murderer then. Your yeah, does, murderer. It, does he support people that You gotta read about eternal election oh, and historical you gotta read, election. Yeah, yeah. Read about, yeah. The, there's an inevitability to this and there's a narrative to this. Right. You gotta read Tom Sawyer, man. That's a good book. You gotta read enough to actually be able to distribute that information. Okay, wrong word, but uh, to share that information with people where you can then actually back up and explain the questions they're going to have because he asked questions and you no. just said you have to research it. Like, what? <laughs> Sorry, I ramble at a certain I got, point. I got two people talking with me. Sorry. One track line. I'm serious. Sorry, I ramble, so I missed most of my... What are you said? I don't know. Like, I, I do the best I can, but at some point there's only like so many like... You, you, you hear one question and you try to take it against faith, but then like the, the, the five car pile up of the other questions following to show you like, no, this wasn't a good faith, was it? They're, they're just being fools. You have to be prepared. So at some point you're just gonna be like, no, no, you, you're, you, you're a reasonable man over there. You can, you can go learn your own thing. You know how to like discern truth from non-truth. You're saying, raised in the same like public schools that I was. You, you can, you can figure this out. I don't have to explain this to you. You get, you want the truth so bad, you go find it. You throw one thing clearly, though. It seems like you just don't want the truth. You, because I, I try to tell you, you, you don't really listen. You just kind of do the clown card thing. You know, follow me. Clown card? I actually do ask questions to follow up and understand. I don't say things I don't know about because I don't want to get caught up. Yeah, Good morning, ma'am. Like yes, my name is Max, and if you need any help, I'd love to find out how I and my church can help you. His name is Max. Ma'am, if you're here for an abortion, you're about to murder a baby that God has given you to love. I beg of you, do not murder your baby. If you don't want your baby, I'd love to adopt your baby. Or if you need help providing for your baby with time or money, I and my church would love to help provide. But please, in the name of Jesus Christ, love your little baby just like yourself, just like Jesus commands you to. Do not murder your baby. Come talk with us, please. No, I'm not actually trying to move me on this, but you have to know what you're saying. If you say you're going to bring something up, they're going to ask questions. If you should know what questions they're going to ask. If you don't have the answers, I wouldn't start with the first part because you can't deal with the second part. I mean, that's just what I at least try to do because, yeah, I don't want to look like a full, you know, we have a conversation that I can't continue. I feel like this gentleman keeps looking at me. He wants to say something. It's all yours. 15 seconds. 10 seconds of fame. If you don't want me coming to you, stop looking at me. I mean, that's really the thing. I just think you saw something to say. You know? As you saw, um, none of them care. Okay, that, John, that man just keeps looking at me like, uh, <laughs> Coward through those we trees, account for the life that we live on this earth. through those trees are love some patience, love and they have a man shouting here. Love what is virtuous. It isn't working, Can we even love see him? Look at that little speck over there yelling at me. Oh, I, I really want to go talk to that guy shouting. Hey, would you like to say your name in church um, in case a woman needs some help? 
you don't want to help a woman, they're about to have an abortion and they say, hey, this church can help. What do you got? Is that your script? Is it? Why are you hiding from the press? The people want to know. The people want to know. Where do they go? You are told to be out here by your church. Can you let her speak for herself? No, 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 no. Yeah, so that's right. He's going to do all the talking. We can't be liars, right? Nobody here wants to think for themselves. How much do they pay you to stand here? Who wants to talk to you, including your kids? Oh my god, that was me. I'm here because I care. Trey, this is really sad. I thought you made music. I thought you were playing this rapper, but instead you're just this like sad, pathetic white guy that's like the dumb on the fucking sidewalk that I take out. That's the people that actually are coming here. They don't want his help. He wants to adopt your baby, not have your baby. <laughs> but, but he doesn't want to adopt your baby. Yeah, right, yes. <laughs> On camera. <laughs> Dude, he can't even take care of his sign. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, I don't like shitty activists. I don't like shitty anything, really. And if you're going to be an activist, have a sign that at least, you know, doesn't look like a fucking piece of shit. It looks like a bread roll. You care so much about that wrinkled baby that... It looks like some good on a... It looks like a bread roll. And that's not even the size. See, right here, I mean, I'm saying, this, this is the baby. Eight weeks, I think it was... No, it looks like a peanut. I'll, I'll be generous. Just so you know, I have invited Mo to a public exchange over and over and he always that's why he just talks he always declines he won't do it. i got a couple you'll have to check out um it's actually from the leader of the grotto the satan grotto uh -huh. and um shannon we don't they don't actually have positions but i called her the high priest it's just for the hell of it because it was funny yeah, um yeah. but yeah they both actually did debate him and it wasn't really a debate i mean it's not really a debate are you jumping in front of the car is no, I actually Spot and Fido aren't here today. <laughs> Did they do that? Yeah. Bye. Chase card, yeah. Bye, Dennis. See you later. Bye. 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 And there was one. Here's our camp back, man. I don't fall for cool. that. Again. Clearly their magic necklace is not good. Right? We don't have enough magic necklaces in action. So put away the phone. Get praying, right? Yeah. You are? You don't have your magic necklace. Spaghetti monster, the art in <laughs> heaven, or somewhere. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. And if you exist, but if you do, I'm desperate and I got no other thing to do other than actually get out and help somebody, you know, get in the public, help the homeless, help, you know, the women that are pregnant that actually don't want to have an abortion, but because that's about the only thing that apparently seems possible, they do that. But on, you could have saved them, but you're not there. I bet you've got a lovely voice. Why don't you want to join in on the song? You want to film strangers? <laughs> That's for me. Well, okay, you're filming well, strangers. Well, they are. I, I film you too, but these are strange people. I mean, again, what is the name of your church? Where would you know we send a woman that doesn't want to actually have an abortion? If you cared. I know that Duffendorf's guy. Yeah, he bumbles into people and then calls the cops because he pretends that that walking into someone is you being assaulted. So I know Duffendorf's. Oh, this man's fun, sir. He keeps looking at me, but when I say yes, sir, um, he goes back to me. Uh huh. But you know, oh, we got a new person. 
touched by your love. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. What are we singing? Amen. Got it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Did it work? Name of church. Did it work? Church name. Is it? If someone no, needed help. I don't think you did anything. Sorry. Not one person here actually cares about helping a woman. If they did, then they might be willing to say, hey, you can come to the Lord of our priests of church. Uh, There's Saint advice, Mary. advice and aid right over there. So again, these up. people are going to push someone to someone else instead of actually do what so Christ says and help. Oh, um, oh, someone's trying to commit a crime. Go, go, go to the, co go to the police station. Um, we can't call for you. We can't do shit. But yeah, not one person, sir. Did you want to say where someone could go, like where your church is, where they could find you and speak with you? No. How about you guys? You kept looking at me. Do you have a church you want people to send to so they can come find you? If they say I need help, are you gonna are you gonna be there at this church, this place? Or just go to advice and aid because I'm just here to point, not to actually do anything. You have something to say? You keep looking at me, you keep acting weird. I mean Guys, a uh, church I could send someone to to be able to find you to converse to not have an abortion. We love so no church, church, no name of church. We love the Catholic Church. So no actual church. Um, where, where would we send a person, a woman that doesn't have a child? Where, where? Where's your church? Where do we send those to be shepherd? The Catholic Church wants to shepherd people, but we can't find you guys apparently because you don't want to invite them. If you're out there and watching and you don't want to have an abortion, um, well, I hope you don't think that any of them are going to actually help you. I hope you don't actually believe that they care. If they cared, they would be willing to say, hey, come to a grand view of the Latter day Saints. Again, just making up a name. And. <laughs> yes! Oh, you're the man I saw singing outside Planned Parenthood with a sign saying, don't murder your baby. But, um. But, hey! But, hey, we're not gonna. We're not gonna help you. You can't come find us. If you need us, we'll be outside Planned Parenthood with a uh, really horrible. Sorry, I'm trying to flip the camera. I know. I feel. If you need us, we'll be outside Planned Parenthood with a really ridiculously old, flimsy, floppy sign. Sorry, I had a comment. Okay. And we won't help you. We still won't help you. The problem I have is the ridiculousness of hypocrites. Of how they say one thing, do another. They, their message uh, is so flawed. And I should say, the delivery system leaves a lot to be asked of. Father with a diaper full of shit. Thank you for coming and standing with me. <laughs> okay, so how many cars have been turned around today? Zero. <laughs> and how many straight, white, Christian, cis, Catholic, any of those uh, men are out here right now? Zero. <laughs> It smells much better. <laughs> Ooh, wait, well, what are you talking about smelling? No one's trying to smell your womb now. Yeah, if you had one. <laughs> I said no one's trying to, there's no sniffing, there's no smell. No one's trying to smell your womb. No. If you had one. I did, they're 15 years late. nothing left on my cervix. I call it the bridge to nowhere. It is 10-11. 10-11 and everyone's leaving. Bye, guys.